Hello everybody. Here we have the Zoom array that as we all know is a multi-track recorder, a sampler and an interface controller. But also can be used like a standalone drum machine. Here uh, we need to use it as a sampler to have a standalone drum machine. We're gonna do an example of how you can do this. You can connect this to your DAW or or the, the machine you use to do your recordings for uh, doing a backtrack or whatever. You need to do the drums. So I'm going to open the zoom array. The light appear on, on the screen here. And uh, a project 00, zero appears here. But here on this bottom, it say track sequencer, we make sure that this is on. Track sequence on. Okay, so we keep it on. And now what we want to do is uh, sing some drum patterns through one of those pads. So you, we can shoot them and use it as a, as a drum pattern. That, we go to the track here. This button says track. And we choose with this arrow, we choose the track we want to use to do this. In this case, I'm going to move to the track number 5. Okay? And on the track number 5, it says take, audio 1, new take, loop, pad, and some other things. But on here, we just hit this button which just says enter, and we can go inside this track. It says file, pattern, loop, other, we just move down to pattern because we want to choose a, a pattern to put in here and we hit enter again and here we are in all the patterns that are inside the zoom array. If we move this, we play, we're going to hear that beat. You see? And if we move down, we're going to hear this one, which is different. And moving this wheel here, we can go very fast to some other patterns. Right, this one is the Latin, for example. And even more, this another rock sound. There are many of them that you can choose. And for example, a funk one. Uh, dance here. many others uh, even there is uh, a few intros and outros that you can uh, sing to any of those tracks to use them later for example here at the end those are at the end of the of the list here we have an intro here we have another one and use any of them. Also, outros, which is drums to finish song. Ending, it says ending, this one. Or this one. Maybe this one. So, all right, we're gonna choose an intro. For example, this number two, I'm going to choose it and going to put it on the track five. So we say enter, and here we have this one here. We hit track again, and we see a kind of orange light here, 
that means that uh, a pattern is assigned here. So now, when I push this pad here, the intro will sound. And while I'm keeping the head push it, it sounds. So if I take my finger off, it stops. But if I want to play it again, I hit it. I go. So okay, so I have seen a sign. One intro pattern here. Now I hit track again. I hit track again. And I move from track five to track six. And I'm gonna sing another drum pattern here. I go inside the track and in the pattern again. And I'm gonna move, for example, I'll try to shake some some rock sound that it's okay. Let's see this one. Okay, this one is okay, so I'm gonna sing this one to the track number number six. So now I see two orange light colors here, which means that I have one pattern from the drums a signal here and another one a signal here. So now when I hit this button I have the intro and here I have the the pattern I just have choose. So in that way I can record the intro and I can go to the, to the pattern. I have to keep all the time the, the finger pushing so this track is playing. If I want to change it, I go back to the intro. Okay, go. All right. So I have now a single two tracks. If I want to do some more variation, I have to choose, for example, on the track 7, a new drum pattern. I do the same operation. I choose the track, now I'm 6, and I move to track 7. And here, intro, pattern, to choose the new pattern I want to use. Okay, now I shake the sound again of the drum pattern, see which one I, I like. I use this one on track number seven. So now I have three orange lights. That means that I have three drum pads a signet. The intro here, one here, and the other one on the track seven. So now I have three pads I can use. The intro again. here I move to track 8 enter pattern enter again so I can choose any one of those here I can hear play to hear how it sounds okay this one sounds alright so uh, I choose this one 
So now I have this assigned to track number eight. When I hit exit, it gives some volume here. I have one, two, three, and four orange lights, which means I have uh, four different drum patterns here, which I can use. So I remind that I'm using this as a standalone drum machine, so I have connected the outputs, all the outputs, to my DAW to do the recording. And on top of that, these are the volumes, so you can choose which one you want to play a little bit more louder. You want any of those louder, you can graduate it here. So in this case, for example, I will start with the intro and we check how can we mix this to make a drum track. So we start with that one. Thank you.